In the history of the United States, there has never been a female president. Officially. We've come close in the past few years with candidates such as Hillary Clinton and Elizabeth Warren. And although there has never been an elected female president, there has been an unofficial one. Edith Wilson. Edith Wilson is an unsung hero of American history. Her journey starts by marrying Woodrow Wilson, taking charge of the U.S., and creating official policies. Edith married Woodrow Wilson, becoming his second wife, in 1915. This was after the death of his first wife, Ellen. The couple first met just a few months after Ellen's death, and they began a short courtship become, before becoming engaged in secrecy. Woodrow's advisors thought that his quick remarriage after Ellen's death would be unfavorable in terms of re-election, but the couple decided to get married anyways. Unlike previous first ladies, Edith was more involved in the political side of her husband. She pressed into his political affairs and became his personal assistant. With World War I underway in 1917, Edith quickly established herself by canceling previously hosted events at the White House. She did her part in rationing meals as well as advocating and creating needs for soldiers such as war bonds, sewing items, and other things like that. In 1919, President Woodrow Wilson suffered from a stroke. This left him partially paralyzed. And because President Wilson was unable to make decisions, Edith took charge as his assistant. Edith would bring him orders and keep him in the loop as much as she could. The president had fallen under and his assistant was there to keep him up. Of course, by that, I mean that Edith was essentially making any and all decisions herself. Edith didn't want people to know about the president and that he could no longer perform his presidential duties. To avoid his removal from office due to health reasons, Edith began to speak for the president. She took charge in Congress as well as his other affairs of the president. As Edith took charge, policy came into play. Since she was the person who spoke for the president, she was the one who made decisions. It is claimed that she never actually created policies for the president, but in my opinion, I don't see how she could avoid it. And because she spoke for the president, she also spoke for his previous policies. You may recall from your history classes, the League of Nations and Wilson's 14 points. It is stood in for Woodrow as he could not do so for himself and kept his policies intact until his dismissal from office in 1921. There may have never been an official female president of the United States, but I don't think First Lady Edith Wilson can go unnoticed. She was before her time and worked to ensure the best for the United States. Her marriage to Woodrow Wilson opened doors for her to create a way for women to be seen as equals in politics. We may have a long road to reach official, but we can never forget the first female president of the United States, Edith Wilson.